The office market is, has come back some in the last couple of years, and the reason for that is we've had recovery in jobs. We have just now reached the previous peak for total employment in the United States. So let's think about that for a minute. That's seven years it took to recover our previous peak, and of course the country is bigger now than it was seven years ago, seven, eight percent bigger. Um, so we still have a much lower labor force participation rate than we used to. But let's just say employment is now flat relative to where it was before. But the thing about office space is everybody is using less and less of it per employee. It is something that companies see as a cost center. Um, companies are recognizing that empty offices are wasted space. And so we are seeing, as leases expire, lots of conversions from one type of office format to another. And each time this happens, you are shrinking the footprint that you are taking up. Even if you're not laying anybody off. I, w I was talking to a corporate relocation manager about a week ago, and she was saying to me that her biggest business now is reconfiguring office space for the same number of employees, shrinking at 30% for pretty well-known companies. Uh, you have law firms no, lo no, no longer need a physical law library. They can put everything online, all their documents online, all their books online, and so on. And so it's hard to see, in, in a world where many of our downtowns still have double-digit vacancy rates, uh, a world in which we're going to need lots of new office product anytime soon. I think the overall trend is decline. The two exceptions are, of course, New York and San Francisco, uh, people just need to be in these cities for certain reasons. There is a limit to how much more building can happen in these places. There are a few other world cities like this, London obviously being one of them, Hong Kong being one of them, and a few others. But generally, worldwide, we are seeing continued weakness in office despite economic recovery. And I think for reasons of technology, uh, we're going to see that weakness continue for some years to come.